Hello guys, and today we're going to be reviewing this World War One book, The Definite Visual Guide, by Richard Overy. Down here it says from Sarajevo. And does anyone know what that is? Okay, so we'll have a second world if you want that. Here is the back of the book. So if at the top we can see, you will be home before the leaves have fallen from the trees. Kaiser Wilhelm II, August 1914. And here's some photos from over a hundred years ago. World War I fought between 1914 and 1918. It was a conflict on an epic scale that and left an indelible mark on the collective memory of countries that lost a generation of young men. This engaging and visually stunning book of recounts the course of the war in vivid detail, recreating the experience of titanic battles such as Gallipoli, the Somme and Verdun, and documenting the first hand accounts of combats combat combatants sorry and civilians. Authoritative and pack, packed with compelling images, it offers a true understanding of a war that changed the course of history. This edition features recommend no Com commemorations that took place a hundred years after the war to honour those who died. Here's some other books from DK and there's DK and there is the price tag in that. Okay, let's get into this book now. So here are some of the photos. You might know some of these people. World War One, from Sarajevo to Versailles, R. G. Grant. Contents. There is warfare. Number one, the troubled continent, 1870 to 1914. In the early 20th century, Europe was dominated by ambitious imperial states. This produced an unstable international system and fueled an arms race. War broke out of Europe with the assassination of Austrian Archduke Franz Ferdinand in the summer of 1914. So as you can see, here is Europe. Before the war, here is North and South America, here's Oceania, here's Asia, Europe's high noon. You can pause if you want to read it. Here is some older pictures from 1906. And here is Kaiser Wilhelm II who you saw on the front of this book. And here we go, the planning for war. Here is Germany planning their war to go through Ger Belgium, sorry, into France there, like in World War Two, but this was before that. Hmm. Destination was there. Here are some docks with loads of people fishing at it. And there's the troops and millions in Mm, I can't really remember when this was. 1904 or something. There we go. Right, I'm just going to be quiet for the rest of this. Just going.
go swap through every single page. Not over by Christmas, December 1914. When Europe went to war in summer 1914, most people expected a decisive victory for one side or the other by the year's end. In fact, although battles were fought on a vast scale, costing hundreds of thousands of lives, the outcome of the war remained undecided. Stalemate, 1915. While the combatant states mobilise resource for a long conflict, the trench lines on the Western Front became a symbol of the military deadlock. New weapons such as airships, submarines and poison gas added to the horror of the war, but did nothing to end it. Four Year of Battles, 1916. The vast Aritanial battles at Verdun, the Somme, an unpredicted death, the to death toll for trivial gains. The war effort also strained the social and political cohesion of the warring countries, forcing political change and stirring revolt. I'm just flipping through pages. I don't care how many pages I flip through. I mean, you might want to see them. I'm sorry, but you know, I'm just gonna flip through things that are interesting. Could be a lot of stuff to do. Exactly. 
Number five, Revolution and Dissolution, 1917. Swept by le revolution, Russia became the first major combatant to leave the war, though weakened by years of conflict and uncertain of victory, the p other powers continued to struggle. The USA, provoked uh, by German submarine warfare, finally joined the side of the Allies. There they are, doing the Treaty of Versailles. And here's all the, most of the deaths. Or some of them. Here's more deaths. Cemetery events. Tower of London Red Poppies. And last page before it comes this. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and goodbye.